Okay guys, so we're gonna focus on, I'm gonna put the handlebars on, so then I can do the whole, we're gonna put the bars, oops, the bars. So I can do the, I just lost the insert for the bar cluster. Oh my goodness, okay. So I'll put the bars, okay, right there. I've got a bag somewhere. Here it is. The bar clamps. Now these ones do not have an arrow to tell you front or not. I believe some of them do. And you want to tighten these down evenly, so I'm just going to tighten them until they're... Actually, I'm going to lose the ratchet to do this, and it's easier. You want to tighten these down evenly to avoid cracking that top cap. I believe is the reason you tighten them down evenly. So we're just going to tighten it till they're just about touching. Then eventually at some point I'll probably end up loosening these up and setting the bars up where I want them. But for now, we'll just use the old marks and go with something like that. So tighten these down now until they're touching the bars so it holds them in place. at this point. So that we're touching. Take it down some. Go up to the top one. Take it down some. I probably won't take these down a ton because I know I'll be loosening them again. Whenever some parts show up, still got a lot of parts to wait on. Grips are coming in. Most of the parts for the engine are still on their way. Okay, so now we will I'll slide the master cylinder on and tighten it up a bit so it doesn't fall off. Snug it up a little bit. The finger. I'm trying to remember if there was a clamp that held these anywhere or not. I don't believe there was. I don't remember how everything goes. Okay, this guy goes right there. Behind the bracket, not in front of it. If not, you'd have a really hard time getting things to line up later. And before I put that in, I'm going to use it to find the right sides. That I think is already out. Yep. Right size is already out. So now this next one. Right down in there. Now we kept the whole brake circuit closed, so shouldn't have to worry about any air. I'll probably still bleed them just because I don't know how they were. And Okay, so now this bolt comes off, and this little clip goes under it. Clip goes through there, and into there. And then there's these little 8mm guys on the front that hold this plate, that hold this thing down under it. Okay. So now, I'm going to snug this up bit more so it just just so it can't slide off and I do not want to squeeze this brake handle okay front brakes are installed no the rear brake assembly 
No, it is here. Never mind. Couldn't remember if that was stayed with the wheel or not. Okay, the whole rear brake system is right here. It slides onto that, and I guess the axle goes through it. So I'll probably just find a bolt to slide through there for now. Makes tolerances a little bit tighter. There we go. Um, that goes up that way somewhere. Two, eight, come on, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. There we go. we go. Uh, gum. That was not smart. Okay, I'm gonna have to spread those now. There's hardware somewhere that bolts this guy on. Right here. The little brake guard just bolts out of there. Makes that easier. Go. Slide you back home. This runs up to the rear tail light. This hose here hooks under that, in there, and bolts on here with not this bolt apparently. Or maybe it is this bolt. I think it is this one. This holds the harness down to the engine. That is right. Now that should be another 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Hey, there's an 8 millimeter wrench, so I can find. Then I can't find a 10 millimeter. Master cylinder installed, rear brakes installed as close as they're going to be until I have a rear axle to hold them on with. Okay, next up, I guess you got the wiring harness to go with next. Okay, this, this end up here goes to the front, this goes to the rear, and this guy mounts right here. Coil to get this guy installed. Now we do have to do a bit of wiring. The voltage regulator was shoot right off of the thing. It goes right under here. So I've got I got the I have all the parts from it. I have the voltage regulator, but the connector is destroyed. So I'm going to have to splice on some new connections for the voltage regulator. To make it street legal, I'm going to get some turn signals, a speedometer, and we're going to build a bracket that goes right there that will hold the speedometer and a ignition switch because I want the ignition switch for this thing if it's going to be on the street. So this guy, this bolts onto the heat shield. So until the heat shield's there, that has nowhere to go. So I can just chill out there. Now you run up here. So yeah, this is 
we've been talking about, the Volt's regulator goes right here, but it has been chewed off completely. These go to the rear fender, to the frame. So that gets it out of the way more. Okay. So now, I think we'll pop to the front end with a tire and some other parts. Okay. For tire time. Get that out. Now these spacers don't have anything to hold them, so I guess now that one kind of does. Not really. Slide that in there. Now the brakes. Make sure they're spread apart enough. Rotor in between those calipers going. Okay, so now there's just a couple of to leave, not eight, ten maybe. Oh, that hurts. Not ten. Yes, ten actually. Never mind, I lied. Let me grab a cardboard. The recording still. Yes, we're still recording. Good thing. Turn for tail on now. I believe they're Excel. Blue, probably, probably anodized aluminum. The brakes got some nice grab. That's good. It's got new wheels all around. Aftermarket foot pegs. I think they were blue at one point, and some of the little blue accents. So I'm going to put a blue chain on it because it needs a new chain. Okay, now we're gonna spin it all the way around. Pull it forward a bit. That's not what I wanted to do. I am lying. I wanted to button up the front end. There we go. Now I'm going to give it a face with the front fender and the number plate. So we're keeping the white plastics. I'm not going to upgrade the plastics mostly because I have surpassed my original budget at this point. So at the end of this whole thing, I'm going to do a video going through the whole price that this project cost. And we're also going to then see for that same price if uh, what we could have found on Craigslist and Marketplace and stuff. And see if it worked out to be cheaper, which I'm pretty sure, even though this cost more in parts than I originally thought still going to work out to be cheaper than buying a running bike. Um, some more junk on those. I should have sprayed some brake clean on that. Okay, next up is the face of the motorcycle, which is missing some hardware, so I'm going to have to 
probably with some matching bracket or zip ties, or I believe it's just a Phillips screw. Yes. Where's the screwdriver? Screwdriver's over here. See, it didn't come with the rest of the hardware to mount this up. Lever inboard some more. Then we got some zip ties. You can do just about anything with a zip tie. Really floppy without mounting up here. Okay, got a pair of cutters. So we're gonna cut these zip ties and then turn them so that those are inward and can't slice anybody's hands open. Ooh, that's the trash we got throw. Nice. Because you know that's what a zip tie does. Also have to make sure it stays away from the wiring harness in there. Did I make the trash for this one too? Nope, that was short. So there we go, we've got front brakes front headlight, something's, oh, that's what that is, headlight's just sliding around. Okay, next up is going to be, we will put on the clutch lever and the compression release valve lever. And the clutch goes on after that. Yeah, it's got a super nice light clutch. You can just like, it pretty much falls down really. Nice to ride. <laughs> okay, not gonna put the hand guards on because they would be in the way, put grips on. But what I can do is, first of all, that can't run there, that has to run. I didn't think about that. Cut my zip tie parts. But yep, I think we're gonna. That's a bad idea, I'm not gonna do it. I think we're gonna end it right here with the bike front end mostly together, what I can. So thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next episode.